Hi, I'm Melissa Mansfield. Welcome to Green Festival TV. We're here at the Seattle Green Festival with the chair of the King County Commission, Julia Patterson. Good to meet you, Julia. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. So tell us, what is King County doing to go green? Oh my gosh, King County is way ahead of the curve. We are involved in many very, very exciting green initiatives. One of them has to do with reclaimed water. We are reclaiming so much water from our uh, sewage treatment plant, uh, Bright Water. When it opens up, we will reclaim enough water that we will be able to irrigate the Sammamish Valley. It, the other thing that King County is doing um, has to do with our LEED certification for our buildings. It won't be long now before we have 16 LEED certified buildings in King County sort of um, setting the trend for all of King County, we think. The other thing has to do with the products that we purchase. We are very dedicated to recycling and to purchasing those products that can be recycled, cartridges that can be recycled. Um, we pay very special attention to making sure that those appliances, that those machines, and that those office products we purchase can be recycled. Now, tell us a little bit about King County. What is the environment like? This is the greater Seattle area. Yeah. What are you trying to protect? Uh, King County uh, is the greater Seattle area, and we have very densely urban areas. We have um, very definite suburban areas, but then we have a beautiful rural area that we want to preserve. And one of the things that we're trying to preserve is uh, that opportunity for our children to be able to experience the forests, the um, hiking opportunities, the mushroom gathering, the wildlife viewing, the um, experiencing the quiet of being able to get away from the urban areas. So King County has been a uh, powerful steward of the urban growth boundary and, pro and protecting those rural areas for our children and those green belts for our children. That's, that's a value, that is a moral value that is held very deeply in King County government. And as far as King County citizens, are they ready to go green? Are they leading the charge or is there a lot of education that needs to be done as well? You know, it's really interesting because we live here, it's, we probably are unaware of the fact, but we really are ahead of the pack. Our citizens are well informed. They, they do, um, they do hold that moral um, belief that it is our responsibility to be uh, good stewards of the environment. People just want to know what they can do. One of the things I was talking about in my speech just now is the fact that there used to be a very closely held value when I was growing up, and that is um, doing, with, doing more with less, trying to get by with less instead of uh, this attitude that is so prevalent in our country today of getting more, more, more is coming to terms with the fact that less is more. Well, and now this is the first year that Green Festival has come to Seattle in King County. How has it been for you so far? I had no idea that it would be this, that it would be this fantastic. There are so many people here today. Um, obviously, there's a tremendous energy in this community and interest in this community. It looks like people definitely want to know how to, how to do more, how to make a difference, and how they can get involved. So I hope this becomes an annual event for King County. Well, thanks so much to you and King County for taking the lead on green issues. And of course, if you want to learn more about greening your life or your community, go to greenfestivals.org. I'm Melissa Mansfield. You're watching Green Festival TV.